Bridge to Health is a New Zealand first, a program for cancer survivors that includes care by general practitioners. The program is the subject of a paper written by Dunedin Dr Sue Voltert, herself a cancer survivor. Dr Voltert is here to tell us about what she discovered and what she recommends. Good evening Sue. Hi. Tell us a little bit about Bridge to Health. What's the history of the program? Well, the program started as a discussion with a multidisciplinary group of people involved in cancer care, doctors, nurses, researchers, uh, other health professionals. And that was back in 2010. We talked a lot about what we could include in a program that would help patients after they'd finished the main part of their treatment, a time when a lot of patients find it very difficult to get back to normal life. We ran a pilot in 2011 and that was audited and the paper is the result of the development of the program and the audit of that group. We've since run four programs and we're on to our next year, 2013, is, uh, we're going to keep going with the program. Well, the program includes GP visits, what mm -hmm. else does it include? People come along, they're referred from their doctor or their nurse, they come along to a seminar where we talk about what's involved with cancer uh, survivorship, talk about the fact that their health may not be as good as it, what it was and talk about the challenges they may have. Um, we allow them to share some of those um, challenges and we, give, we offer them various different options. They can choose their four workshops, one on um, emotional health and spirituality, one on uh, nutrition, one on physical activity, and one about intimacy and sexuality. And there are other things that we offer as well, um, meditation classes, um, we offer some massage sessions, things that make people feel a little bit special. And we also tell them about the other programs and the services that the Cancer Society offers. Uh, a lot of people don't know just how much support the Cancer Society uh, has available for them. Now your paper is based on an audit of the program. What prompted you to write it? Well, we wanted to share this uh, experience, um, the development, and what we learnt with other centres. So we'll put it forward to a medical journal for publication. And we, we hope that other uh, cancer societies in New Zealand will pick it up. They certainly are interested in it and are watching uh, what we're doing. And we wanted to uh, have it work in Southland and in central Otago because all of those uh, places are part of the Otago Southland Cancer Society. What did you discover in your research? Well, we were really pleased that people who came to the pilot group really appreciated what we had to offer. Not everybody chose all of the options, and that's good. It means that we're offering different things for different people. Um, there were some issues. We don't have enough facilities to offer them uh, supported exercise options for everyone. We'd like to do better in that area. And I think we could do better with trying to meet the needs of Maori, Pacific Island and Asian patients as well. Now you've been on both sides of this as both a cancer patient and a doctor. What mm. are your insights that, that you've gleaned from your experience? Well, you learn very quickly that you don't get an all clear in life and you have to learn to live with that. I think that's one of the hardest challenges for cancer survivors. The other thing I learnt was that for me physical activity is the most important thing that I can do something about for my long term well-being and that's something we tell the patients in the programme about as well. Mm. Is the mm. programme funded long term? Uh, the Cancer Society in Otago Southland has put their hand up and, and said we're funding it. We believe in this program and so we, yeah, we're hopeful that that will go on. Uh, we're going to research the issue of the patient visits and we hope that we'll be able to show that they are worthwhile and then we can look for funding that will continue with the three um, funded visits to GPs. Dr Sue Voltert, yeah. thanks very much for your time. You're welcome.